So that's our panel. And we're going to get started and we're going to just kind of throw it around here a little bit. Let Moose and Kitty tell some stories and we'll throw in some stuff. And then we'll open up for uh, Q&A. And I just want to tell a story about Ron Kittle because I covered him, so I, I know him better than I know Moose, at least player-wise. And I'll never forget spring training, I believe it was 83, in Pink Park in Florida. It's the old ballpark. Probably none of you were ever there, but uh, it's in downtown Sarasota. It's a crappy old place right in the middle of town. <clears throat> and out in the left field, they had a wall, and they had a trailer court past the wall. And Kitty came up bad in practice and hit so many balls over the fence into the trailer cart that some old lady, I'll bet she was 75, she had a long dress, I'll never forget, she had like four balls in her hands, you know, she could barely hold on, and she's standing on top of her, on top of her trailer, yelling, stop that! <laughs> <laughs> Here's Kitty, you know, he's just trying to make the team and have a good time. And it was an old ballpark. And, uh, Behind that, there was a shuffleboard court at the time. And all the, on the weekends, the elderly people would play shuffleboard all day long. So you got Rick Business, D. Carlton, just myself. We're eating balls and like knocking these elderly people off their feet while they're playing shuffleboard. And this lady was up on the road screaming, you know, quit doing that. And, you know, years later, Larry Hines was the general manager. I, I think that was his job title. I don't know really what he he asked me one time to quit hitting home runs to left field. <laughs> you know, so he moved the cage around, so I would literally have to hit over the first base dugout. So Walt Randy, I was our hitting coach, that was in uh, 89, he turned the cage, he moved the cage out of the way completely while Larry Hines was standing there, and I, I just hit balls everywhere you could possibly hit, just to irritate the daylights out of the way. <laughs> but it was a good story. Old paint park, good ballpark, old, decrepit, but a lot of fun. Well, what's it like being part of the New York Yankees? Where? I'm a Cub fan. If they go to the World Series, I think I'm about to die. I stand by the Yankees, and uh, they want to win in New York. It's just like, I mean, the ballplayers make the manager. Without the players, you're not going to win a damn thing. And I say, the manager maybe wins five or six games, but you get those guys to play together to win. That's what it is. You've got to get the players. The Yankees spend a lot of money. They want to win. Steinbrenner gave me a World Series ring. I didn't even ask for it. But I got it, and I'm going to sell a damn thing. <laughs> it's 1977 when Reggie Jackson hit the three home run. Right. I said, you pass these rings at your candy. Why don't you give me a hang bow the ring? He said, which one do you want? I talked to the Yankee trainers. They said, get the 77 when Reggie hit the three homes. So I, he said, Moose, this is just July, the old timers day. I said, George, as long as we get it before Christmas, the week before Christmas, I get a phone call, the ring is in the mail, Hank Bauer got his ring, Yogi was in the clubhouse with us, Yogi's mad because he didn't get a ring. I said, Yogi, you didn't talk to the man for 14 years. <laughs> and then when they made up friends, we gave him all the rings that Yogi participated in. Wow. And the man was always nice to me, Mr. Steinbrenner, 80 years old, he passed away, and then I was at the old timers game last week. Yogi Berra fell down on steps and broke his nose. He could then come to the old timers game. Then another guy named Charlie Silvera, our third string catcher, he fell down in a hotel room at six inches above his eye. Then we had Tiki Aloyo, a relief pitcher. He had a heart attack on a boat. We were going around the Statue of Liberty. That was a bad weekend. My daughter and my granddaughter. You know, who's looks good for 105? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 80 years old in December. I was trying to take a full of bloods on me. I had a hell of a nice life. Don't let me just lay in bed. Just full of bloods. <laughs> person in any city, you get one home run in New York, it's like getting 10 home runs in any other city. Wow. That's how much the fans follow you in New York. Wow. I mean, if they, if they like you, they really like you. If they hate you, they don't want no part of you. They don't even shoot you. Don't you wish you would have been a left-handed hitter, bro? Oh, yeah, that's oh, it. Can you imagine, Kitty? They would stay and hitter? kill me. Ernie oh. Banks wouldn't hit no 500 home runs playing in Yankee Stadium. It was 461 feet to dead center. Left center was 457. I'd be hitting those buildings here at Wrigley Field. <laughs> My God. Left center is 345 
feet and let milk package told me that because he meant you to feel it. <laughs> <laughs> that ballpark is hideous. 